Whether you are planning on recording your entire slideshow, maybe as a flipped lesson, or you just want to add recordings to specific slides, remember that when you are recording content, you have access to digital inking tools. So let me demonstrate using this particular slide. I am going to make sure I'm in the recording uh, tools ribbon and I'm going to select record slideshow, but I'm actually going to click on the drop down and select record from current slide because I just want to record on this particular slide. Now, here are my digital inking tools along the bottom. Notice that I have an eraser, a pen, and even a highlighter. So let's talk about digital inking tools just for a minute. Digital inking is so powerful for our students because we can use the inking in order to um, engage our students, draw their attention to specific areas that we want them to focus on as we're going through content. In uh, certain classes like math class, uh, I highly recommend if you have a device where you can use a stylus, you can use digital inking in order to actually write out the steps to solving a mathematical problem. In other subject areas, maybe you are labeling maps or labeling diagrams. For instance, here I am in my grade four science lesson and I'm going to use digital inking in order to label the parts of the flowering plant. All right, so when we're ready, again, to start using digital inking in a recording of this particular slide, we want to make sure we click the Start Recording button. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the pen. And as I talk to my students about um, the different parts of the flowering plant, I'm going to actually um, mark this diagram up. So notice that down here along the bottom, we have what are called the roots. And please forgive me, I'm using a mouse. This would be much easier with a stylus. And again, I've just labeled that particular part of the diagram and I could continue explaining to my students about the functions of roots before moving on to label other parts of the flowering plant diagram. Again, I can use the highlighter tool. Maybe I want to draw my students' attention to the fact that we're labeling the parts of the flowering plant. And again, I could also use the digital inking tools to make annotations of any content, um, maybe on the sides of this particular PowerPoint slide. Let's take a look at um, what our students are going to see. Don't forget to stop your recording. All right, now we're ready to see what the students are going to see. So let's just close this recording window. And I'm going to go to, let me close that ribbon. I'm going to go to slideshow and present from current slide. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the pen. Notice that you can actually um, hear any audio recorded uh, in addition to that digital inking. Notice that digital inking is now appearing on my screen. So you can see that I circled the roots and I'm actually writing out roots. And if I was explaining to my students uh, the functions of the roots, you would hear that as well. In a moment, we will also see uh, the word parts being highlighted in the statement labeled the parts of the flowering plant. And if we had any other inking, it would appear on this slide. Now remember, digital inking can be a very powerful tool to increase students' engagement as well as uh, help them um, understand the content as maybe you highlight important key concepts or annotate uh, content or in the case of the example here actually label diagrams.